With just 30 days to go before the Olympic Games, Denmark is sending its biggest contingent of athletes in 16 years to London, where it is targeting more medals. Lifestyles has more from Copenhagen. The Danish Olympic Committee officially launched its campaign for London Olympics 2012 Wednesday. According to the country's Olympic Federation, Denmark is sending its biggest contingent of athletes in 16 years. About 112 athletes have been selected to represent the country in 17 separate disciplines. We have qualified more athletes before and than before, and uh, especially since uh, Beijing, where we were 84 athletes, we will now be more than 112. And we see it as a sign of the standard of Danish uh, top sports uh, at the moment. We feel that there is a lot of good work being done in, in our federations. Uh, we have good trainers. We have. Uh, some good athletes at the moment and uh, they have been uh, good enough to qualify for the games uh, so we have a, a larger team but also a team that seems to be stronger than uh, four years ago. The country also revised its expected medals tally to eight up from the seven medals that was earlier forecast. We won seven uh, medals in Beijing 2008 but uh, just today we announced the medal target of eight medals for London. We have 17 sports in London. We see probably uh, eight of them as uh, potential uh, medal winners. It would be sports like uh, traditional strong Danish sports like sailing, rowing, cycling, swimming, also uh, some other sports, uh, canoeing, badminton, where we have a traditional stronghold in, in international sport. Moreover, the contingent will be led by Kim Cry, who won silver in the two-man kayak event at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. He will carry the Danish national flag, the Danbrog, at the Games opening ceremony on July the 27th. I feel honored and uh, I'm very happy about it. Um, really looking forward to, uh, to uh, go in front of the Danish team uh, at the opening ceremony. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really a great honor. The team comprises of some top athletes, including former men's world badminton champion Peter Gade. For him, London will be the last Olympic game in his sports career. Well, there's, there's no doubt, you know, this is going to be my, my final and last Olympics. Uh, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of uh, thoughts uh, going on with that. Um, some parts of the qualification has been very good and some parts, you know, for the last five months I have been struggling with some injuries and, uh, you know, I have, a, I have an age where, you know, I have to be very careful. Uh, but beside all that, you know, I, I want to focus on doing the best I can at this Olympics. Um, how far I can take that, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, at the moment, all my focus is on, you know, on my daily practice. Uh, some things are moving in the right direction and it's a nice feeling. We're getting closer and uh, no matter what, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this uh, for my final Olympics. The London Games also mark the first time that both Denmark's men and women's handball teams have qualified for an Olympic tournament. The men's handball players have won the European Championship in January 2012. The final list of selected athletes will be released on July the 8th.